In this video, I want to show you how to make a connection with the Arduino in a Python script. And to do so, I'm going to show you how to receive serial data from the Arduino with the Python script and how to send serial data to the Arduino from the Python script. And my eventual goal is to have a couple of hopefully short videos that detail how to make a Python GUI that will read and display data that's coming in from the Arduino. And I should say that what I'm going to show you uh, is how I think of programming. So there's probably better programming techniques and more efficient ways of programming, but this is just how I uh, program. So the first thing we wanna check is we wanna check if Python's installed on our system. Uh, so for me, I have a Windows machine, so I open a command prompt and I type in Python. Now, when I do this, Python should pop up uh, it says that I have Python 2.7 installed on my machine. Uh, so if the Python interpreter pops up, you're all set with the Python part of this. If it doesn't pop up and instead you get something like it's not a recognized internal external command, what you need to do is go to the python.org slash download site and download uh, whatever version of Python you feel like, Python 3, uh, I guess they're up to 3.7 now, or whatever other specific version you're looking for if you wanna stay on Python 2.7 for whatever reason. Uh, what I'm gonna show you will work on either Python 2 or Python 3. Uh, this computer, I just happen to have Python 2.7 on it. So once uh, Python's installed and you can open the interpreter, uh, type import serial. So this is a serial module we're going to use. Uh, if you don't get an error that means you know, serial is installed for you if you do get an error that sort of looks like this uh, no module named serial uh, then if you quit out of the interpreter so you type quit and you type pip install pi serial what this is going to do is uh, pip install uh, pip is going to go and install the pi serial module for you. So for me, the requirement was already satisfied. Uh, if you need to use pip install, then it will automatically bring down uh, and download the requirements that you need. So once the Python uh, dependencies and requirements are satisfied, let's go and write some Arduino code. Uh, so in our setup, we're gonna start a serial uh, connection. So serial.begin. Uh, I'm going to choose a baud rate of 9600 and I'm just going to have it print out uh, Arduino is ready. So after the serial port has begun, it's going to print out Arduino is ready. Uh, let's upload this to my board. It's an Arduino Uno on COM port 4. So if I open my serial monitor, it takes a second, but I get my Arduino is ready. So if I just move this over here here for right now um, but keep it I, I'm gonna keep it open for right now I can go and I can write my Python uh, script so the first thing I want to do is I want to import serial uh, let's oops let's change my language to Python just so uh, sort of color show up. And I want to do with serial dot serial. I want to choose my COM port, COM4. And I want to change choose my baud rate. And I want to save this as the variable ser. So what I want to do now is I want to say x is equal to ser.read line and I want to print X. And then I want to close my serial port. So I'm going, it's gonna prompt me to save. Let me do arduino.serial. And if I go to this, run my script that I just wrote. It should not work this time because the serial port is open. 
Uh, so it cannot open the port on COM4. It gets a Windows error, access is denied. So that just means, oh, my COM port's already open. Uh, I think I like showing you errors that I know I get a lot because it's frustrating sometimes to try to debug errors. You don't know what's going on. Uh, so we just need to close this and run again. And here we get the command, or we get the message that says, my Arduino is ready. So the Python, uh, Python script works, Arduino is talking to the Python. So let's get Python talking back to the Arduino. And let's stop, start by modifying the Arduino code again. So in my loop, I'm going to pretty much just wait for a serial, um, some sort of serial command. So in my loop, I'm just gonna wait for a serial command. Uh, so while serial.available is greater than zero, so that means something's in my, something has been sent serially and I'm uh, processing it. Uh, and I'm going to have a character. So my character received is equal to serial.read. So I'm re so uh, our Arduino reads one serial character at a time. And then I need to create a string that's gonna hold everything. So let's do string uh, serial data. And let's build this string. So serial data uh, is equal to plus equals uh, receive. So this is building the string one character at a time. And I'm gonna say if uh, receive is equal to a new line. So if the character I receive is equal to a new line, I know I'm done. So serial.print message received. Received. Uh, serial.print line. Let's print the serial data. And let's reset serial data. So what's going on here is while, does this work? I always forget that one. Okay, so in my loop, and I'll put a real small delay. Uh, so in my loop, uh, while I have something in my serial data buffer, uh, I'm going to build this string called serial data. Uh, I'm gonna read the serial data one, one character at a time. I'm gonna build my string. And if the character that comes in is equal to new line, uh, my, I've defined that that is when my message is done. So I'm going to print out my message uh, and reset the serial data string. So if I upload this to the Arduino, I now need to write the Python side of this. So the Python side's a little bit easier. So I first get the Arduino is ready string. And now I just want to write something to the Arduino. So I want to write, uh, this is my Arduino message. And it's very important that I end my message with this new line character because this new line character tells the Arduino that my message has been sent or else my Arduino is going to get stuck waiting for uh, waiting for this new line that's just not going to occur. So once I send the Arduino that message, I want to read back the reply. So just serial.readline, say y is equal to serial.readline and then let's print y. Save it, let's run it. Here's Arduino is ready. Uh, and then I get back message received. This is my Arduino message. So this is my, let's do second Arduino message. And when we run this, this is my second Arduino message. So now we're passing messages back and forth with the Arduino and Python. 
Uh, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video.